Ukraine to test components of a powerful Indian rocket engine SCE-200. The Yuzmesh production plant in Ukraine prepares to begin a series of firings testing critical parts of a large rocket engine intended for India's next-generation heavy launcher. Although it was built entirely in India, the prospective engine was originally designed in Ukraine under designation RD-810. The RD-810 was developed at KB Yuzno in today's city of Dnipro, Ukraine, as an equivalent of the Russian RD-191 engine, but using a more conservative engineering approach. Like the RD-191, this one-chamber engine with a thrust of around 200 tons, was intended for the first stage of a new generation space launcher, however it was designed to operate at a lower, and thus safer, internal pressure than that accepted in its Russian counterpart. The propulsion division at KB Yuzno was able to take on the project of such a scale and complexity thanks to its most recent experience with the engines for the second stage of the Zenit rocket, including the RD-120 and RD-8. The RD-810 belongs to the so-called staged combustion cycle engines, which first ignite their propellant mix inside a special gas generator, also known as pre-burner. The resulting hot gas is used to drive the engine's turbine and then it is directed into the main combustion chamber. The RD-810 was designed for a single firing during the operation of a typical first stage, starting on the ground and lasting slightly more than two minutes. The engine could operate in two modes, burning at full thrust for 135 seconds and then switching to a lower thrust for the final six seconds before the separation of the first stage. 809. In the course of its development, several versions of the RD-810 were designed, with the main difference being its gimbal mechanism with either one or two axis steering. In 2005, Ukraine agreed to provide India with designs for the RD-810 engine and, on November 20, 2006, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, awarded a contract to KB Yuzno for a project codenamed Jasmine, which officially started the development of the RD-810. In India, the RD-810-based engine was dubbed SCE-200, which stood for semi-cryogenic indicating the use of kerosene fuel, which can be stored at regular temperatures, and liquid oxygen, which requires cryogenic conditions to stay in liquid form. The 200 in the designation denoted its thrust of 200 tons. ISRO planned to install the SCE-200 engine on the modified core stage of the GSLV Mark III rocket replacing the older propulsion system. It would boost the payload capacity of the rocket to the geostationary transfer orbit from 4 to 6 tons. Later, four similar engines could propel a new generation rocket, which could deliver up to 10 tons to the same orbit without the help of strap-on boosters. In addition to assisting with the design of the engine, KB Yuzno also advised ISRO on the development of the prospective launch vehicle itself. In 2017, Indian specialists returned to Ukraine to test fire the actual hardware, which had been built in India within the Jasmine project. According to industry sources, the Ukrainian Yazmesh factory was contracted to test, not the entire engine, but its critical components, including its gas generator and a turbo pump, which had all been manufactured in India. If the firings, apparently planned to be completed by 2019, validated the quality of the Indian manufacturing methods, the fully assembled engine, including the combustion chamber and the nozzle, would be tested at the yet-to-be-completed bench facility at Mahendragiri, India.